With Overdrive, you can easily set up a smart-looking and useful site in minutes using existing content from Google Drive. We're a further education college and we need to connect with a wide variety of stakeholders, not just our students and staff, but parents and alumni and also the wider community. Today, I'm going to create a student portal to share all kinds of information, resources and assets with our students, not just learning content, but academic calendars and social events, campus news and other student support and guidance. Overdrive sites are built from Google Drive folders and all of the content that I'm going to need is right here. Once I've connected Overdrive to Drive, I can use this menu to both create new sites and jump across to existing ones. As you can see, my site has been automatically created using the content in Google Drive. Notice how all of the folders from Drive are now items in the menus. And the content of the folders has also been brought across as pages in those menus, and they'll stay in sync if I make changes in here or in Drive. Now, anyone inside, or if I choose, outside the college, has access to these files without having to use Drive. I don't have to waste time emailing the latest curriculum info or extension work to anyone because the latest versions live right here and can be accessed 24-7. So let's go back to the home page and start fixing it up. The Assets folder is where I'm going to keep logos and other files needed for the site and I don't need it to appear in the menus, so I'll switch it off like this. My site design is looking a bit basic, so I'm going to find our college logo. and use Template Designer to pick a template that suits our college branding. These advanced settings give me lots of control over the design and layout if I want to go further. Now I'm going to press the pencil icon over here to activate Page Builder and start adding a few elements. I'm going to start with an image box and pick something a bit inspirational to brighten things up. Now I'll replace this folder tile with Calendar Contacts a Twitter feed, and a YouTube video. You can include easily any number of calendars that show what campus activity is happening when, which is a really useful way to keep everyone in the loop. And I'll bring in these existing Google contacts as a quick go-to place for students to find whoever they need. Bring in this welcome video. And I'll finish with a Twitter tile. So everyone can follow what's going on with the students at Sanford College. My homepage is in better shape. So let's take a quick look at some other content. This folder contains everything that I want to share with my students on education resources. And there's a variety of content from curriculum PDFs to coursework support, including slide decks, docs and sheets and other helpful info. It's a kind of mini learning resource center. The content is already in Drive. This is just a much better way of sharing it. Users with edit permissions, like other members of academic, pastoral or admin team, are able to create and upload new files.
and edit existing ones. All the campus news will appear here. These are all Google Docs and there's a choice of how we can display them. So I think we'll go for blog view. Then you see a thumbnail image and the text. And if you click on it, you get the whole article. And this area of the site includes other support information that our college pastoral team have dropped into drive folders for the site. And finally, we're in the alumni section, which is where our past students can connect with our current students and with the college. Access can be easily controlled in the user settings, and there's a choice of login methods too. So, there we go. With an area dedicated to parents and links to the wider community, we've got a smart, user-friendly student portal set up in minutes, sharing a huge variety of education resources with stakeholders in a quick and easy way. Get started at overdrive.io today.